two million two hundred Scoville. That's a lot of Scoville, guys. Check out my balls, guys. Look at my balls. Those are some hot balls right there. Oh, man. What are you doing? You're on the wrong hub, man. Put the lotion down. Man, I'm out of here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Phil Hub. You know who it is. It's Richie Rico. We're back with another hot challenge today. We got the Carolina Reaper cheese balls. Hot cheese balls. 2,200,000 Scoville. Um, a lot of the challenges I've done already are a little hotter than this. You know, I've done the um, one chip challenge. I think that was 9 million Scoville and then a little nitro. And um, what else did I do? Did some other challenges. All hot. Some hotter than this. The thing is, though, is I'm going to attempt to eat more than one of these today. And not only that, got a little extra something something for you guys. So you know how, you know, lately in the news, it's been a lot of negativity and it's been depressing, honestly, guys. It's just, who wants to see that nonsense, you know? So, I'm going to share with you guys today some stories I found in the news that are a little more, hmm, funny, I guess I'd call it. Yeah, funny. Let's get to it. Without further ado, we're going to get into these cheese balls. 2,200,000 Scoville. Oh. Never fails. Every time I open up something that's hot, I don't know why I'm like feeling in my head like I'm going to be surprised or something that it's not going to smell like death or just pure insanity in which, you know, it does. Ball number one. <clears throat> Use caution when handling and eating very hot pepper products. Uh, all right, so the first story that I want to get into with you guys is um, none other than out of Florida. Go figure, right? I love Florida, guys, but there's just something about you guys down there in Florida that, I don't know, you guys are always doing something crazy. Just not a normal crazy either. Something just out of the ordinary crazy. So with this first story, a Florida man was accused of Stealing an alligator out of a mini golf course, beating it, stomping it, and trying to throw it on the roof of a liquor store. Like, what crossed your mind to do that? You're just walking down the street, and, you know, you just... <whistles> that's my whistle, guys, sorry. But you get the point. You're walking down the street, and you're whistling, and you're just having a good old day, and you're like, you know what? I really hate... I really fucking hate alligators. And he just is like, look at that. There go some alligators. Right there. Out in the open. For me to steal. So you go over there, you grab yourself an alligator, you beat it, you stomp it, and then you twirl around in a circle and try to toss it up onto the roof of a liquor store. What the hell did that alligator do to you to deserve that? Like, did this alligator go and eat one of your family members? Did this alligator go and eat little old Sparky when you were taking it on a walk? What the hell is wrong with you? This is what I'm talking about. Down in Florida, you guys are crazy. I don't get it. Should I drink a sip? I'm not going to drink a sip. I have another ball. Whew, my stomach is burning, guys. Whew. Two million more. Daytona police officers arrested William Hodge at 3 a.m. on a Thursday back in July. The guy's probably drinking. Hey, you better get out of here. This stuff's hot. Sorry, guys. Cat, he's out of control. This is Hendrix, by the way, if you haven't met him. He's wild. Whew. Okay, this is getting hot. Had to have been drunk. No doubt about it. I'm, I'm going to have to say, for, for his sake, hopefully he was drunk. Because he's just wild. Hodge admitted to jump in the gate when the police found him. And they arrested him. He uh, apparently said that he hopped the gate at the golf course and stole the, the alligator because he wanted to beat it, stomp it, and apparently teach it a lesson. 
I bet you his ass ain't gonna hop in a freaking damn pond and try to beat and stomp no alligator and teach it a lesson now, is he? I didn't think so. Ooh. Hot. Very hot. I'm gonna do another one. My chest is on fire. It's so hot. It's so hot. Oh God, why'd I do this? million six hundred school bill right now so story number two is um I guess it's a crime but it's not really like you know someone try to do something like for the benefit of like you know I don't know like they didn't try to rob somebody they didn't hurt nobody uh, at least I don't think anyone got hurt 34 year old guy from Leroy Saskatchewan decided that while he was out one day you know just flying his helicopter like everybody does that uh you know it was hot out it's hot like i am right now he was hot and he was just like you know what oh i'm sorry by the way he was with his girlfriend so these guys are just flying through the sky you know enjoying the scenery and they're like hey he's like you know what babe it's hot it's hot hot like that guy down there on the fit hub hot like that guy down there on the fit hub who's eating them hot ass cheese balls I want to stop and I want to get some ice cream. What do you think, babe? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to wait till we land this helicopter, hop in our car, and go home. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to land this helicopter in a school zone, in a school zone, and then get some ice cream. And, you know, his girlfriend's like, that's a great idea, babe. Let's do it. Let's land this helicopter and let's get some ice cream. <laughs> you see, like, for me, I know that's why I need to be with the opposite of who I am. That's why I'm with my girl now. Because she is the opposite of everything I am. You know? She's not stupid like me. If I were to say that to my girl, she'd be like, well, first off, my girl probably wouldn't be in a helicopter with me. Let's be real. Um, but if she was for some reason, maybe I drug her, sedated her, and then took her up for a flight. She would probably say to me, are you effing kidding me? You want to land in a, you want to not only land, you want to land here in this school zone to get some ice cream. Now, thank God, you know, um, even though they did land, uh, school's out because it's summertime. So this is back in July of this year. Seems like July was a crazy month this year. Um, they land and uh, there's no, there's no kids. And, but I guess that when they landed, there was onlookers, obviously, because they're just, you know, a helicopter landing in a, a, a kid's playground by a school or, you know, on the playground at the school. And uh, so this helicopter lands, it's kicking up the breeze and stuff is flying everywhere. Dirt, rocks, gravel, grass, whatever, just flying everywhere. Oh my, my mouth is watering because it's so hot. And uh, the lady passenger, and this is what I'm saying, see? The guy's girlfriend hops out and is like, all right, babe, I'm going to get this ice cream. The lady goes in and gets some ice cream cake like it's no big deal, hops up, hops back in a helicopter, and they take off. Now, Leroy Saskatchewan, I've never heard of it, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be going there anytime soon, but uh, you guys are crazy out there. You're just laying in helicopters wherever the hell you want. Sorry, guys. I'm sweating. It. And, uh, you know, like... You gotta be with your opposite, and that's because I'd be doing the same thing. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, like, come on. I wish I had a helicopter, because I'd be doing that. I'd be like, hey, babe, be right back. I'm gonna go down to Chili's real quick, get me something to eat, hop in my chopper, land on the roof, you know, scoop down a little fire exit on the side, you know, go get myself a, you know, uh, I don't know, what do they got there? I like the, uh, I like the boneless, the boneless wings with the skins. That's what we usually get, me and my girl, uh, but that's the type of stuff I'd be doing, you know, flying to the gym, all that. That's why I can't have a helicopter. I know better. Here comes 8,800,000 Scoville altogether so far. And I don't know if you can add Scovilles like this. And I know some of you people out there, you know, hot pepper growers and all that. Like, you can't, you can't. Or maybe you're saying you can't. I don't know. But look, that's how I'm doing it. And that's what's happening. Man, that's hot. Woo! 
I'm losing track of what's going on right now. <coughs> eight million, eight hundred skull bill guys. <coughs> so story number three I found in the news was earlier, I think back in March of this year, 2021, um, a man decided, you know, like any other burglar, burglar, however you say that word, uh, that he was going to go and take up a convenience store. Why not? So 39-year-old Richard Ewing of Berry Hill, Tennessee, decided that he wanted to get some money. And, you know, he was running low on cash. Times are hard, you know. Times are hard right now. So he decided he's going to stick up a store. Well, Richard decided that he was going to go to his local convenience store and um, stick it up. One little problem, you know. He drove there in a minivan. Not the greatest getaway vehicle, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think. I mean, I'm not. I like cars, and I know, the, I know a few things about cars, but uh, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm a, you know, crazy gearhead or a mechanic or any of that type of stuff. But uh, I don't think a minivan is exactly a getaway vehicle, and I'm pretty sure you guys think the same. So Richard Ewing goes to the convenience store and he pulls up in his minivan. And he uh, goes in the store. Second problem, he doesn't have a gun. So what does he do? The next best thing, he throws on his hoodie and he sticks his hand in his pocket and makes a gesture, I guess, as if he has a gun. He slips the clerk a note and the note says, quick and easy, give it up. So while his finger's in his pocket, pretending to be a gun, and he's letting the clerk obviously see this, and with the note, the clerk says, okay, and, you know, it's not worth risking my life for, you know, whatever's in a, what's in the register at a, at a convenience store nowadays, you know, probably, if you're lucky, a hundred bucks. Not worth risking their life for a hundred bucks, some cigarettes and whatever. So, Richard does exactly what you think. He steals what's in the, in the register, gets himself a couple bucks, nothing worth going to jail for the rest of your life, or for a long time anyways. Gets the cash steal some cigarettes, and on the way out he steal some lotto tickets because, you know, you're going to be able to cash those in later. Well, anyways, Richard Ewing hops in his minivan, drives off, it's nighttime, no headlights on, and he goes onto a main road where, of course, usually, you know, nighttime, main road, there's probably going to be some cops there. Well, of course, he drives right directly past a cop with absolutely no headlights in his minivan. Well, the cop pulls out, obviously, and starts to follow Mr. Richard Ewing. And uh, he's following him, and the cop has his lights on now because he has no lights. So, guess what? The minivan. Of course, the best getaway vehicle ever. You wouldn't want a Bugatti. You don't want a Ferrari. You don't want... I mean, we don't all have that kind of money, right? Well, you don't even want to get yourself something halfway decent. Richard, in his minivan, decides, I'm not going to stop. I'm in a minivan. Keeps on going. Sorry, I have to interrupt this for one more cheese ball, guys. Okay. Uh, eight million, eight hundred, eight million, eight hundred. We're somewhere around ten million Scoville now, guys. It's safe to say. <clears throat> well, you remember how I said Richard wasn't basically the brightest guy. He has the minivan. He has no gun, and he's doing a robbery. Well, third strike, you're out, buddy. Richard also doesn't have enough gas in his vehicle to outrun the cops, even if his minivan could. So, well, after a thirty-minute chase, I believe it was. Oh no, sorry. After some time, going 30 miles per hour during this chase, he runs out of gas and is then pulled over and is arrested, of course. After being arrested, I believe that he was charged with some sort of, I believe probably a felony, I guess, if you're robbing a store and pretending you're having a gun. I'm sure it's a felony. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, what's going on in the world today? We're all blinded by all this, you know, Obviously, very important stuff going on with diseases and viruses or whatever. But, um, you know, there are some people out there that brighten your day up in a way you didn't think. You know, when I'm having a hard day, I just, I just hop on the internet and I look at some of these crimes going on, man. You'd be amazed. I gotta get a drink of milk. Oh my god. 10 million scope milk. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I mean, okay. Like I said, you're gonna rob a store. You chose a minivan. 
You're gonna rob a store. You got no gun. You're gonna run away in your minivan. You got no gas. I mean, I'm not all, I'm not for any kind of robbing nobody, but if I was gonna do it, I wouldn't be in a minivan. You can damn sure bet that. And if I'm gonna have a weapon, I'm gonna have a weapon. And I'm not gonna be. And I'm not gonna have an empty tank of gas. What is wrong with you guys? Uh. Well, whew. that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this new little series I'm starting here with me in this hot ass stuff and telling you about these dumb ass criminals at the same time. So, if you guys like this video, Please like in the cop like. Sorry, if you guys like this video, it's hard to talk right now. My tongue is burning so bad. Ooh, my tongue is burning. If you guys like this kind of video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'm gonna have plenty more of these videos coming up. So you guys, thank you for watching, and please don't be one of the next stories I'm gonna read. Don't be a dumb criminal. Please don't do that. And if you do, let me know ahead of time so I can get ready to report this. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please stay safe, happy, and healthy out there. And again, thank you for watching the Fit Hub. I'm Richie Rico, and I'll see you guys next time.